Hi everybody! Welcome back to my Secret of Mana 100% guide. Today we are going to go to the Water Palace as well as Undine's Cave. We are going to rescue her and we're going to get some magic as well as upgrades for our weapons and a new weapon. And there's also a new monster that we got to collect. So stay with me and we'll get through this together. All right, everybody, it is time for us to go and get our first magic. Let's get this done. This is going to be a pretty simple uh, episode. Not a whole lot's going to be done, but I am going to do some grinding uh, of the magic. So that'll be at the tail end of the episode. Okay. You have to talk to Luca. I'll heal you. But Would we're you gonna like do to it anyways. Undine, the elemental of water, lives in a cave behind a waterfall east of this palace. Her barrier protecting the palace has disappeared, and I fear the worst. She could be in grave danger. You must find her. We will. All right. Time to fight some fish. This is a new enemy to add to our monster list. Keep your eye on your health bars. These guys can be a little dangerous. Fighting a boss here as well, so I think we're gonna put Brim, Brim, <laughs> Brim, on something she's already maxed out. So let's go with ranged weapon. Now we can just keep her on the bow, I guess. And then Randy, no, we'll keep Randy on what he's on. And Papoy, I'm gonna put Papoy on Boomerang. And you know what? I'm actually going to switch Randy to Rapier just so that we can do a little bit more damage. Um, and then also I think we need to heal Randy. Thanks. There we go. What the? Okay. So for this fight, we just want to get the Tom pulled down. And then we can start working on attacking the Viking Lizard. Okay, you kind of want to stay away from the front of him. He will swallow you. Level up this all the way. Get big damages. Take that. 
Oh yeah, we're doing nice. We're probably going to want to heal Prim after this. Let's heal her. She getting uh, swallowed a lot. Oh, it's curing itself. No, no problem. Take that. Uh, try to stop me. Can we get her out of that spot? I guess not. All right, there we go. Water elemental. In return for your kindness, you may use my power. Yay! Elementals may manifest as two types of spells to use as you will. You may call upon my recovery and defense magic. And you may use my battle magic. I love Indy. You are the wielder of the mana sword. Magic will never be yours to master. Aww. For to pit your own magic against that of your sword could yield disastrous results. Oh. However, you may channel the magic of others through your mana weapon. For instance, she can cast Ice Saber on your weapon, turning your enemies into sin. Yay! In addition, I leave this mana weapon to you. With it, you may attack enemies both above and below you. Call upon me at any time. We will. And we got the pole dart, which is the last weapon we need to collect. All right. I'll be a master mage in no time. Yay. OK. So that's really all we need to do for this episode, but what I am going to do is some leveling of the magic. Uh, oh, let's heal Prim. Oh, mm. hopefully Prim doesn't get attacked here. Maybe, wait, Prim has magic. Prim has magic! We can heal her. Oh, also, let's uh, put weapons, uh, put ourselves back on weapons that we want. Um, Work on the pull dart, I guess. And Koi can go back onto the whip. And Prim can start working on the boomerang. Okay, there we go. I actually really like the pull dart. It's gonna be a very useful weapon along your journey. Prim again. Oh, she's busy. Okay, let's use Prim again to heal Popoy. Okay. So I'll go ahead and tell you guys how to level up your magic. This is something that you need to do for your 100%, is we need to get all of our magic leveled up. Magic is based on how many times you cast it, so it will level up a percentage every time you cast it. So you're going to be casting a lot, basically. And uh, the magic has different magic points. So we got two magic points for these and three for the acid storm. Um, so what we kind of just want to do is spam, 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 spam. We're going to want to stay at inns as well to get our magic points back up. Um, we could stop at Neko's to pick up a seed or two. Uh, seeds are going to give you magic points when you're out and about too far from a town. So let's go ahead and grab one now. Welcome to Neko's. Do you need anything? Oh, 
Oh, you're interested. What will it be? Mm, we're gonna shop Perfectly today. Perfectly priced items available. Perfectly priced. He's lying to you, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up two. We don't have any couple wishes, so I'm gonna grab one Anything of those. Anything else? Be seeing you. Mew. Okay. All right, so you don't need to rest every time you use up your magic. If you have the um, yeah. enough XP yeah. to basically level up, leveling up will fill up your yeah. MP bar again. Um, so if you're close to leveling up, uh -huh. don't bother resting. Just uh, keep casting and killing things. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get somewhere better where we can effectively cast. Watch out. In Prim's Magic, you can actually cast Prim's Magic Here while in a town or Remedy. a village, so you don't actually have to be out here to do it, which is going to be really uh -huh. handy to level it up. Um, maybe not so much right now, but <laughs> soon. Uh, when we get to Kakara Desert, that's honestly one of the best locations to level up your magic. And uh, I'll show you why. Um, if you just skip ahead to the Kakara episode, when it is out, um, you'll see why that is the better place to level up. While I'm doing this, I'm also hoping that we're going to make some money because we're going to need to upgrade our weapons now that we got some orbs. Come on, and I just want to express Freeze. the level of the monster has no bearing on your leveling up your magic. Um, so if you want to level up in an easier area, then by all means do it because it's based on per cast, Water. not necessarily the enemies you put on. Yeah. yeah, let's just use our remedy up until we, we have no more mana. Remedy. I think also we're gonna stay in Pandora here to get our magic points back. Water. Remedy. It doesn't look like we're leveling up anytime soon. Healing power of Undy. Remedy. Okay, uh, we're probably gonna watch an end cutscene as well since I haven't been staying at the you inn staying? so much. Help yourself to a bed. Hang on, that'll be 10 GP. Boing! So that's a witch's castle. Yeah. What's the deal with castles anyway? Is every meal a feast like people say? Are there beds as big as boats? Ah, uh, these inns don't have enough space, that's all I'm saying. I think I'm cut out for the high life. Nah, no, I don't think you are, but I'm not sure how much you like it. You people have no idea. Palace life is not fun. Uh, you okay? No! Harsh words, sis. You want to crush my dreams that badly? People from the palace only think about their own status. Everything is for the sake of the realm. For the sake of the realm. No one ever stops to think about how the rest of us feel. Who wants to marry into that kind of oppression? That's fair. And what a crybaby. No one ever told that jerk no. One little slight and he went crying to his daddy. Everything was about him. What a narcissist. That 
pampered kid is nothing like Dyluck. <sighs> Dyluck's a responsible soldier who wouldn't blame others for his mistakes. The nobility are selfish. Dyluck always asked me how my day was, or brought me flowers. Not like some people. What a loser! <gasps> oh my gosh. Ah. Oh, sounds like Sis had it rough. A witch's castle would be way different from what she's used to anyway. Okay. <laughs> now that we got through that. Her dad tried to set her up with somebody. We don't really know who the somebody is, um, so we never get to meet who she's referring to, but uh, she don't like him. She don't like him. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spam her magic here in town. Water. Remedy. There really shouldn't be too many more casts of this before she levels up. Healing power of Undy. Remedy. Healing power of Undy. Remedy. Healing power of Undy. Remedy. There we go, we did it. Okay. So now we just have Popoy's magic to level up, and we're gonna do that while we're out here on our way back to the dwarf's village. I strongly recommend leveling up your mus mus music well, uh, your magic while you have it. Um, it's because it's going to be very useful for the boss fights that you're going to fight. Um, a lot of bosses have weaknesses towards your magic. So it'll just help you take them out much faster. Weapon leveled up. Yay, Randy! Um, Randy can go onto the bow. out of mana already so we're just gonna see if maybe she'll level up okay. before we get to Kippo Village. Oh, Boomerang leveled up. Um, what are we gonna do? The pole dart. Stay at Kippo Village. I think we're gonna make our way all the way through Gaia Snavel. Um, Papoy is bound to actually level up on our way there. Just like that. And <laughs> now we got our magic back.
Perfect. today. <laughs> Our magic is leveled up. Yay. Okay. So that means I don't really need to cast anymore. We can just uh, attack with our weapons. They wanted that be dead. Now we can't level our magic up to two until we get the seed. So the seeds uh, will determine how many levels you can level your magic up. So right now we are limited to level one. while we are here. I've been waiting. Which one? Um we got the boomerang. Spiked knuckles. And that's it. Okay. Perfect. Alright, and this is actually where we're going to end today's episode. We're gonna have an end cutscene here. Uh, so One let's go ahead and watch is... that while we're here. Seeing Elena's true form gave me a new respect for magic power. No kidding. She acted so young despite her real age. Hey, bro? What? This Eleni witch wasn't always so scary, right? No, I heard she was a typical old lady before. And it was the magic that made her into a terrifying bad guy, right? Hear me out. What if someone who was mean from the start got their hands on that kind of magic? Ooh. I guess they do even more harm out in the world. True. Right? Then what would happen if Sis managed to get more magic powers? <gasps> uh -oh. oh, better not think about it. There's no way we'd manage to defeat something so sinister. Oh, no. What are you guys implying? <laughs> it's funny all right well as i said this is the end of today's episode in next episode we're going to be going to the underground palace where we're going to pick up gnome as well as more weapon orbs get the seed and and there's going to be a, a, a bunch of new monsters down there too that we haven't seen yet so we're going to add that to our monster list so I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I love you all. Bye!